Alright, I'm going to show you how to download an app using your MacBook Air and Apple Configurator to get that app to a cart of iPads. Instead of having to download the same app on the iPad, you know, 25 times, um, we don't even allow that because then students would be able to just download any app they wanted. Um, we have it controlled by the MacBook Air that goes with the cart. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, you would usually just go to the App Store and download an app, but on the computer when you go to the App Store, it thinks that you're trying to download an app for this MacBook Air laptop. So to get it for the iPads, we kind of have to do a go around, and that's what I'm going to show you. So you just go to, you open up your browser and go to Google, and you search for the app. So let's say I want to download Quizlet. I'm going to type in Quizlet app for iPad. Okay, and I'm going to look for the link that takes me to the iTunes Apple Store. Okay, these are just going to take me to Quizlet.com and stuff. I want the one that takes me to the iTunes Store. So when I click on it, it's going to take me to this iTunes preview, and it's just like I would be, just like I would download an app. Okay, so I'm going to view in iTunes, make sure it's free. I'm going to view in iTunes. Okay, and then iTunes pops up, and I'm going to click Get. Okay, and it's going to ask for the password. Okay, once it downloads, you are now going to go to Apple Configurator. Okay, so we can close all of this off. Um, okay, so now that I have the app downloaded, I'm going to open up Apple Configurator. And I want to make sure that I have a couple of iPads plugged in. Right now I have, let's see how many Intel's do I have. I think four, maybe five, four. Um, so this is what's going to pop up. We're going to click over to Supervise, and now we're going to click um, USB Connected, and we're going to go to Apps. Okay, now here we are going to go down to this little plus sign. These are the apps that are already loaded on to the iPad. We're going to click the plus, and it should pop up the app that we just downloaded. So we just downloaded Quizlet. If not, then it is under iTunes, iTunes Media, and then Mobile Applications. It's kind of in a weird place, um, but it should pop up directly to where it downloaded. So I'm going to click on this Quizlet.ipa, select, and it's going to ask me for my password again. Okay, I'm going to checkbox that, and now I'm going to click apply. Okay, and when this is all done syncing, then you're going to unplug these four iPads and plug in, you know, the next set. It can do about 10 at a time. Uh, see, these four are already done. Um, the carts can do about 10 at a time, 10 to 12, and then you just unplug them and then plug in the next set. And that's it. Then you're done. You have the app that you want on there. And you can do multiple apps at once. You don't just have to do one at a time.